Hello everyone. Today we're going to continue our science lessons with a discussion about rocks. As you know, rocks are an important part of the ecosystem. They're also a common component of our local watershed. We've all seen rocks. Some of you may have even collected rocks. But what is a rock? What are they? Well, take a closer look at a rock. How would you describe a rock to someone? When I ask students that question, a lot of times they say rocks are hard. And they are hard. But I know some rocks that are soft. A while back we had a discussion on the states of matter and we talked about matter came in three forms. Solid, liquid, and gas. For something to be a rock, it has to be a solid. And you may remember that that means that the molecules within this rock are tightly packed together and they're not moving very much. And that gives it a definite shape, a solid. So all rocks have to be solid. When we look at this rock a little closer, we notice it's got some cool colors to it. I can see some pinks, some blacks, and some white or some crystally looking colors. Those are minerals. Rocks, for something to be a rock, it has to be made up of one or more minerals. This rock happens to be a common rock called granite, and it's made up of three minerals. One of the common minerals in it is something you probably know, the mineral quartz. We're going to be learning more about minerals in coming lessons. Uh, around here, we don't find crystal quartz like this. That would be cool if we did. We more commonly find it as milky quartz pebbles you find in the stream. So the crystally colors or the whitish colors are quartz. The pinkish color is a very common mineral called feldspar. This is what feldspar looks like. And you might notice a lot of black in here. The black is a kind of mica called biotite mica. This is what mica looks like very cool mineral we're learning a lot about. So together those three minerals make up this rock granite. So again to be a rock something has to be made up of one or more minerals. Now I'm holding this rock. Do you think this rock could move on its own? If I put it down does it walk? Does it eat? Does it drink? Does it go to the bathroom? No, of course not. Why not? Well, this rock is not alive. It's non-living. We learned that when we talked about ecosystems. There are non-living parts of the ecosystem. Rocks are one of the non-living parts. So to be a rock, I brought some other things with me today to share with you. Things that we find around the school a lot. Most schools are made of bricks on the outside. I've seen bricks before. You go outside for recess, you're often running around on the blacktop. And sometimes around the school in different places, we often find something called concrete. Are these things rocks? They're solid. That's pretty solid. It's definitely hard. And that's solid as well. They're made up of one or more minerals. And they're non-living. They don't move around on their own. So what do you think? Is a brick a rock? How about a piece of blacktop? Or even a chunk of concrete? Well, the answer is they're not rocks. And the reason they're not rocks is nature didn't make them. They were made by people. For something to be a rock, we say it has to be naturally occurring. Meaning we find it naturally out in the woods. So these things were made by people, 
and therefore they look like rocks, they seem like rocks, but they're not. So, in summary, for something to be a rock, it has to be solid, definitely solid, not alive, help me, help me, help me, made up of one or more minerals, and naturally occurring or found in nature. Next time we're going to be talking about how geologists who are scientists that study rocks categorize them or put them into different groups. I'll see you next time.